first off, obviously, I wanted to ask, I asked the whole cast, uh, did you know how to play chess? Do you know how to play chess? What's your relationship with the game? And and also, is there any other sport that you watch or enjoy that you wish you could play, like be really good at? Thankfully, my character didn't play chess in the series, so it, you couldn't tell that I don't play chess and I don't really understand chess, but my five-year-old has been taking chess lessons. Um, but uh, that's what I love about the series. It doesn't really matter if you don't understand chess because you can still get so invested and love the characters and the emotion of it. It's sort of like any sports movie, you know, where you're rooting for the characters and care about their, even if you don't understand the game or, or care that much about the game. Um, I'm not really a sports person generally. The only sport that gets me like going like crazy is the World Cup. And it comes back from when I lived in England in 2001 during the World Cup, 2002, and got totally invested. And since then, it's the only thing that can make me like lose my mind. Uh, yeah. I want, you, you recently directed great films in uh, Can You Ever Forgive Me and A Beautiful Day in the Neighborhood, uh, which were awesome. And I, I want to ask you, in, in how did it feel going being back in front of the camera uh, again instead of directing and as of right now which one do you prefer in your the, the <laughs> most acting or like directing it's hard to compare you know for me as a director part of what i've always said is the thing that makes me a good director is that i am an actor and i understand acting i understand how actors the work that they have to do to approach a role And I've always felt like that was sort of my like secret superpower as a director. And yet I hadn't acted in 10 years. So when this opportunity came up and I'm friends with Scott and I trust him, I thought, you know what? I got to do it. I need, it'll help my future directing to get back in touch with what it feels like to be an actor and the vulnerability that I'm asking actors to bring to the table every day. Um, For me, I always have just said, I just want to make things. So if it's writing, if it's directing, if it's acting, in so many ways, it's all parts of the same puzzle. Um, I always wanted to be an actor from the time I was eight. And when I started writing and directing, it was really because I wasn't, I wasn't feeling creatively fulfilled. I wasn't finding parts that felt fulfilling and it wasn't serving me and directing has served me in such a beautiful way. I've felt so creatively in control of my own narratives and the things I want to say. And I've found so much empowerment in being a director. So it's definitely where I'm going to keep putting my energy. But you know, if every 10 years, Scott comes to me with some great part, I'll probably say yes. <laughs> So uh, before letting you go, I want to ask you about your character. Which of your character's traits did you, did you identify the most with? And which trait was the most fun or interesting to portray in the series? I mean, you know, an alcoholic housewife is like the role I was destined to play. <laughs> um, but no, I the thing I connected, I think, with her about is she, if she had been born in a different time, she could have been maybe a pianist working in an orchestra or something. And she is somebody who is sort of locked in her house because of the era that she lives and she's in an unhappy marriage. And so I really connected to that part of her that wanted to be an artist that wanted more for her life and couldn't do it. I found her just, you know, very sad and tragic, but also really relatable. So, uh, Ms. Heller, thank you for your time. I appreciate it. And congratulations on your series. And I'm looking forward to your next prize. Thank you. Stay safe. Bye-bye. You too.